Hi everybody, this is Annie of Acorn Internet Services and today's Educational Byte installment number 17 is going to be how to load a newsletter in YMLP. And so this is something that we get a lot of questions about. We build newsletters for people onto their web pages and then they're able to go into the uh, website with their content management system which might be PageLime or it might be Snippet Master or some other content management system and they are able to edit the newsletter get everything ready to be sent out but then kind of get stuck on well how do I load this thing into YMLP and send it out so that's what we're going to talk about today so let's go out live and we'll take a look at the newsletter of our wonderful volunteers Matt and Laura from Cedar Crest Lodge in Pleasanton Kansas and this is a newsletter that is actually a page on the website. You, if you look up here, you can see how it says uh, cedarcrestlodge.com slash newsletter. So if we have built you a newsletter template and it's actually a page on your website and something that you can go in and edit and put in new information with PageLime or Snippet Master, then this uh, newsletter, I'm sorry, this webinar will apply to you. So this is what the newsletter looks like. Laura has already gotten it all ready to go in um, with either Snippet Master or PageLine, whichever content management system she's using. And so now what we're going to do is load it up into YMLP and send it out to her contacts. So let's go out to YMLP. This is your mailing list provider and this is this particular um, newsletter management system that we are using for uh, Cedar Crest Lodge and many of our customers use this. And so um, the, for what you're going to do is when you first sign in, you're going to be on the dashboard. And you can see here that Laura has already loaded all of her contacts into this specific um, YMLP account. So now what we're going to do is click Create New Newsletter. And you can click Send as a Test Message if you want to look it over before it gets sent out to your um, customers and that's fine or if you've already viewed it in um, live on the web page and everything looks fine then you don't have to do that um, then you're going to come down here to format and click I'll paste HTML code upload an HTML document or load a web page choose that one and then delivery time you can have it sent right away or you can have it sent later so let's have it sent later I have um, some evidence to the fact that uh, newsletters get a better response when they're sent out on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the morning. So I am going to go ahead and send this out at 9 o'clock Kansas time on Thursday morning. And then if you look down here for reporting, you can see that there are two boxes you can click. And we recommend that you click both of them. The open rate will just tell you how many people actually open your email and, you know, whether they read it or not, don't know. We do know, though, that this will tell you if they actually open the email and look at the newsletter. And then this is the click-through rate, and this tells you how many people actually click on links within the newsletter. And so that's good information to know, so go ahead and click those, and then pick Next. And now we're on the Enter Message page. And so what we're going to do is start with um, the subject line. Always make sure you put a subject line in your newsletter. And sometimes it's easy to skip over that because you are excited to get the page loaded up. But you, you really need to have a subject because people don't like to get emails with no subjects. They look dicey. So don't do that. Go ahead and put Cedar Crest Lodge or, you know, your name. Or you can give it a cute name if you like. January... 2011 newsletter. You want to give it, you can give it a very catchy cute name if you like or you can be really straightforward and just say uh, here we go this is Cedar Crest Lodge newsletter and also if you kind of have something going on here like um, here we have spa treatments that are 25% um, off um, seasonal dish debut, um, she's talking about the new website, um, recharge for the new year, and then a really nice recipe here of um, butternut squash soup. So we could go out here and call the, um, say something like 25% 
whoops, off spa services at Cedar Crest Lodge uh, uh, seasonal recipe and then January 2011 newsletter. You could do that too. It kind of that's a catchier thing to let people know, hey, something special is going on here. And now we're going to go down to the message part and we're going to click import a web page. And you're going to be amazed at how easy this is. You click import a web page and then if you've ever loaded a newsletter before, it probably will pre-populate with that newsletter URL. But um, what you can also do, we're just going to take this off and pretend like this is blank. So what you would do is go to your page of your newsletter and actually just copy that up. So control C to copy go back to YMLP, control V is in victory to paste it in there and then click retrieve. And then YMLP will go out and find your newsletter code. And there it is. So you can see all your code and it probably won't look like anything to you. Don't worry about that. Click next. You're going to be able to preview it as we go forward. And then you select which groups you want to send the newsletter to. So we're going to pick the default group. And Laura's already come in here and set up other groups. There's general interest, there's quilting, Groupon. I mean, those are great things that if you're doing Groupons, that's cool. Very awesome. Um, and then default group. The default group should be pretty much everybody that you would possibly want to send a newsletter to. And then you can select filters if you like, um, but we have no filters set up yet. So we're going to say next. And then it just tells you you've got click through and open rate reporting selected. You're sending this to the default group and it's going out Thursday, January 20th at 9 a.m. And here's the message preview. It gives you the subject line. Then it shows you what your newsletter is going to look like. So that's really great. That just shows you um, this is what it's going to look like. So take a look here and then go ahead and click send. And now it says the newsletter has been added to the mail server queue. Delivery will begin at January 20th, 2011, 9 a.m. And then um, you can follow the delivery. You can let people know that um, you've got your uh, check out our latest email newsletter and it gives a tiny URL. And we can go ahead and tweet that, and that's fine. That's something that's very cool. And then, um, obviously, if you tweet it, you need to go out and put your Twitter username and password into YMLP. And I don't happen to have that right this second for uh, Matt and Laura, but that's where you would do that. Okay, now let's go back to YMLP. And say um, you sent it, and then you were like, oh, darn it. I, I need to fix it. Something's not right. Okay, so before you send it out, you can go to Mail Monitor and you can you can change it. You can edit it or you can cancel it. So if you send something out and then it's going to be delivered in a few hours and then you think, oh no, I need to add something. Never fear, you can come back in here and edit it. And you can see here where I've already had a, um, I had a test message set up. Well, since we already have seen it and we already think it looks good, I'm just going to show you what you do. If you just, if you get your newsletter set up, it's ready to send out, and then you're like, no, I just don't want to send it out. I don't like it. It doesn't look good. You can actually just cancel it by clicking that. And it says, are you sure? And you say, okay. And you can see it starts to do that, and it just cancels it. And that is how you load up your newsletter in YMLP from a newsletter page on your website. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Educational Bite presented by Acorn Internet Services.